What's up Titans, it's Curtis, and in today's video I want to cover our new update for our Kindle Direct Publishing Automation app. This was a huge update and it will really start to smooth things out for you, so today I'm going to focus only on the update and show you what has changed and how everything works. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first update we applied was more error handling. Simply put, we fixed some of the uh, more common errors that you guys were experiencing. And now the app can detect those errors and get around them. So you'll have smoother uploading from here on out. And over time, we'll continue to add more and more error handling. But as of right now, with the new update, things should run extremely smooth. And you'll rarely encounter any problems. Okay, so the second thing we added to the app with today's update is the export unfinished uploads feature, as you can see right here. And how this works is let's say you're uploading 100 books and you get up to let's say 80 out of 100 that are uploaded and for some reason you either exited tabs or there was errors and the uploads didn't go through. Normally what you'd have to do is go over to KDP, log in, go to your bookshelf and then scroll through all the books to see what was uploaded and what wasn't and then go over to your spreadsheet and delete the ones that were uploaded and then use that new spreadsheet plug it to the app and start it now all you have to do let's say you had 20 of them that weren't uploaded for whatever reason all you have to do is click on this export unfinished uploads tab you'll see what browser was uh currently going and over here you can hit export unfinished uploads and it'll export a new spreadsheet with only the uh, books that weren't uploaded and all you have to do at that point is go back come over here select that spreadsheet and click start and it'll upload all of the books that weren't uploaded so it's that simple and that's how that um, feature works which I'll get into that more later but first I'll cover the other updates another feature we added today was the expanded distribution option and you can find that over here in the KDP settings you click here and scroll towards the bottom you'll see right here enable expanded distribution now you can say yes or no and that will check that on this on the last page before publishing the book and if you say no you're actually able to experiment with lower price points for your books so that was op that was an option requested by many of you so now that is in your control uh, and let's move on to the next option you now have control of the individual price points for each marketplace if you like. Uh, you can see right here it says manually input other marketplaces price. You can say yes or no. And if you say no, then it'll take the uh, price from the spreadsheet and use that as it used to in the past. Uh, so you can continue to upload that way if you prefer. If you want to start using your own price points for each marketplace, you can say yes here and then come through and adjust these price points for all of the marketplaces. And how this works is we still use the price point from the spreadsheet, so that's important to know. The biggest thing is if you come and change the primary marketplace, let's say from .com to .co.uk, you can see that now down here, .com is in place. You need to put that price here. However, that will mean that the price inside your spreadsheet will be the .co.uk price. So whatever the price is in your spreadsheet, it'll always be the primary marketplace price. So I change that back to .com, you can see .co.uk is down here, and you can input the price point there. So that's how that works. You guys now have full control over whatever price point you use for each marketplace. That's been requested by you for quite some time, and I'm happy that we uh, have that updated inside the app now. Uh, now with that being said, I'm going to move on and actually show you the upload process, and like so you can see everything uh, in action, and I'm going to intentionally exit some of the tabs so that you can see how the export unfinished uh, uploads works. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, it looks like I have all of my settings in place and I'm good to go. I have four tabs here. So I'm going to go to this and select my spreadsheet. Just had some filler designs and I'll start this up. All right, so, so now it should open up the four tabs and start the upload process. And I'm just going to pause the video while this happens until it goes and submits a few of these 
uh, designs. When it, when it submits a few of them, I'll let all four of these go through. And then what I'm going to do is actually close the Chromium browser and export the unfinished design so you can see how that works. Um, if I go over here, you can see now if I go to the export unfinished uploads, uh, it shows the browser that's in session. So if I exported that right now, it would export all of the designs because none of them have been uploaded yet. So what I'm going to do is let four of them go through and then I'll export it and show you the spreadsheet afterwards so you can see that in action. In fact, here's how the spreadsheet looks. So there are a total of 15 designs or 15 books in here. These are just simple filler books for this video. Um, but yeah, there's 15 of them. So I'll let four of them go through, meaning that there should only be 11 uh, when I export them. So we'll, be get, we'll come back to that shortly. Okay, so that last upload just went through. So there's a total of four of these journals that have been uploaded. And let's check the status here. As you can see, there's four out of 15 uploaded. So now I'm going to intentionally exit the Chromium tab. So all of the stat tabs are stopped. Let's go over to the export unfinished uploads. Export this, I'm gonna put it here. Test. And now I'll go over to my folder and we will upload, or we'll check that out. So there should only be 11 notebook or journals in here. And as you can see the countdown here, there's only 11 and it is the unfinished journals. So that should make your life a lot easier. It's a full blown spreadsheet, exactly like your other one. The only thing missing are the uploads that are completed. So now I can come over to the app, go back to the app, come over here and I could select that spreadsheet. All the settings are already in place and just click start and upload all of the unfinished um, books. So that, that is all of the updates for today. We have more of them on the horizon and a few little fixes coming, but that should be it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below. I'll see you in the next video.